All right. Here we are on the second paddle of the season. Buds are just starting to come into the trees here. In the, out on Lake Ovid. It is, what is it? I believe it's the 14th, right? 14th? April 14th, that is. All right. I'm out here on Lake Ovid. MSU is holding an event where they are doing some rowing. So it's been exciting to watch, but the lake is somewhat closed off. So, oh, here they come. I couldn't see him very well from where I was, so I moved on down to the island. I'm not exactly sure who they're racing here, but MSU did actually win this event. And since I'm from Lansing, I feel a little bit of pride that is probably undeserved. Either way, I feel it. Go MSU. Yeah. When I started last spring, uh, it was early May, and and there were already baby ducks, baby geese, all sorts of little baby waterfowl, and it was fun to see. This year, I got here way earlier, and they're still in romance mode, so I'm trying not to uh, spoil that too much. They need to not be distracted from getting busy. It is a beautiful day. I think I've had just about all the sun that I need. I am uh, starting to feel a little bit pink, but I just don't feel done paddling yet. My arms aren't jelly yet. <laughs> So, as of April 14th, there were zero baby ducks, zero baby geese, zero baby other waterfowl. Today is the 5th of May. I am out at Lake Ovid. Uh, it is a beautiful day. I already hear some ducks, some geese. Sounds like a whole bunch of birds are out here today. I'm really hoping to see a bunch of babies. We will see. We will see. It's about 54 degrees. Uh, it was about 54 degrees when I started. It was started warming up. It's probably a little bit closer to 60 now. It's a little bit chilly to be barefoot standing on the sand, but it's totally worth it. All right, let's go. Pulling out into some cold weather, some cold water. Sticking near the shore today. I will hopefully be seeing a whole bunch of water. Alright. Can you hear them? I think they're on the other side of the island. We'll get there. We'll get there. types of birds these are. I need to look this up. It looks like an all-black duck. I'm gonna turn and hopefully not scare them off too much. It looks the shape of a mallard duck. It has the uh, back white tail feather. I'm not sure if those are white tail feathers or white wing tips. A very bright beak, but otherwise all black. I need to look that up. So when I got home, I looked it up, and I believe this to be a white wing scudder. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. I love coming out here and seeing things that I didn't know existed, or, you know, new types of ducks. I, uh, see, I think I'm still too early for baby ducks and geese and stuff. I think that it is mating season, and I think that's what's going on with all this honking. I have some goose flying right this direction. See a deer? I'm gonna paddle up on that deer. See if it'll let us get close. Straight ahead, moving along the edge of the water. Oh, tail flick. Alright. Through the woods. Pretty sure I won't be able to see it on the video. <laughs> Alright. Deer. I love deer. Alright. Let's move along. 
So as of May 5th, there were zero baby ducks, zero baby geese, and zero baby other waterfowl. I was a little bit disappointed this trip. I was kind of hoping for some baby ducks, baby geese, or baby other waterfowl. I'm not that picky. But what can you do? Nature is nature, and I'm hoping that when I go out this coming weekend, I will see some baby ducks, baby geese, or baby other waterfowl. As always, thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, please feel free to like and subscribe, and check back later for more baby waterfowl updates. Alright, well, I did come back the next day, just because I had the next day off, and I did record, so here are some scenes from the next day, but also, the next day there were, just, I mean, spoiler alert, zero baby ducks, zero baby geese, and zero baby waterfowl. Ducks got busy, but not that busy. A little family of turtles sunning on this log. For those not familiar with Lake Ovid, it's shaped like a large bug-eyed alien, sitting cross-legged, eating a bowl of noodles out of an old-style army helmet. From the alien's butt crack up to the top of the large brain sack is almost exactly one mile, and on May 6th that mile was blowing me like crazy, I had so much great wind. So for the last bit of this video, enjoy watching me get some awesome push from the wind, enjoy some big thick juicy waves, and sing and whistled some guess who badly. Leaving the mark far behind cause it's the new mother nature taking over. Yeah, it's the new splendid lady come to call. It's the new mother nature taking over. She give us a Hey everybody, happy Cinco de Mayo.